war-torn Middle East, a young man was touched by an act of kindness from 6,300 miles away. A Northside physician wrote a letter to a 12-year-old Syrian boy who fled to Jordan to avoid ISIS and the civil war there. RTV6's Jack Reinhardt spoke to that Indianapolis doctor about his message of hope. Dr. Joseph Warnicke was himself a post-World War II refugee from Germany who came to the United States and built a successful career. He drew on his experience to reach out to a young boy in Syria. Warnicke's father was drafted to fight Hitler's war in the final days before spending time as a political prisoner of Stalin's Russia. Upon his release, Joseph, his two brothers and family boarded a troop ship for life in the United States. This life was difficult. <laughs> um, you know, we didn't really have much of anything. We lived in these um, army barracks, um, little apartment, and, but, you know, when you don't know anything else, then that is what it is. You make the best of what you have. Wernicke was contacted by CARE, one of the oldest humanitarian organizations in the world, and was asked to write a letter to a young refugee like himself. He wrote a message of hope to 12-year-old Shadi, a young refugee from Syria. Keep going, keep, keep moving, don't. You know, just don't fall into despair, although right now it may all look bleak. There is life beyond this, and um, wish them the best. And yeah, basically just don't give up and don't think the whole world hates you. As a child, Wernicke remembered CARE, and today CARE remembered him. They contacted me and said, well, you know, why do you support CARE? And I said, well, you know, I was a CARE package recipient, so that meant a lot. It wasn't like some nameless, faceless agency, you know, that gave you food stamps. This was a real thing. I remember that name. And, and perhaps one day, 12-year-old Shadi will gain his freedom and remember the man who reached out with his message of giving strengthens the giver. In Indianapolis, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. Next Tuesday marks the fifth anniversary of the war in Syria.